Hello and welcome back members to our Windows 11 video series and here in this video we are going to talk about and we will show you a practical hands-on related to managing multiple desktops in Windows 11. So let me open the Windows 11 machine for you. So here you can see that we have already covered this part a little in the previous video re related to personalization of Windows 11 OS but right now we're going to specifically get in and dive in to the multiple management of the Windows 11 desktop because it is really cool feature and that gives you a lot of ease and convenience to manage multiple workload in the single machine and it also gives you to manage multiple screens at the moment because you know in the corporation in the companies people use different screens to have multiple desktop view but in the Windows 11 you will have the same feeling by using the same screen you, you just have only one laptop screen or your desktop screen and you can customize your experience like a two screen a virtual screen so that's what the Windows 11 has offered in in this OS so there are different ways to access this multiple desktop view management so here you can see this double square icon so once you when you click here so you will see that there are the options to add another desktop for your current workload and there is another way to access this option but right now because this is a virtual machine right now so i cannot use my keyboard but let me show you the the shortcut key because if i show you this on the on screen keyboard that would be easier for you to remember and it will be recorded on this screen recording so what shortcut key you could use to open the new desktop you should use windows plus tab key and then you will see this bar and that will let you and we, 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 we say it like task view so if you wanted to open the task view with the shortcut key windows tab is the key the combination needs to be pressed and you have this option you can click on the new desktop and once you click on it you will easily get to the new desktop screen and here you can manage anything like if you wanted to hide the desktop icon right click here and you can remove the check on desktop icon and it will no longer available on the screen and you can go back to the desktop one and two again and again then another pretty cool thing is what that if you are fond of using short keys to to perform functions on your windows or laptop laptop machines or windows machines desktop machine i would say so there's a short key that you can use to switch between the task view and the desktops and that is going to be control windows and the right cursor key or the left and in this way you can move to your desktop one here you can see that as soon as we move to the desktop one it mentions that you are on the desktop one and the same way if you wanted to move to the desktop two so this could be done by using the short key now for instance that if you have already opened some application on your desktop one and you want it to shift you want to move that application from desktop one to desktop two so how this is going to be happen how you can do this you just need to click on the task view and here you just need to right click on your desktop one and select this option move right and here you can see it already mentioned the shortcut key that you could use to move your application from desktop one to the desktop two so if i click here move to the right now you can see that the application has been moved from desktop one to desktop two so that's another cool thing that you can further manage in your multiple desktop views then another thing that i really need to talk about is renaming the desktop view so if i click here you can see that it shows the desktop one and the desktop two name and let's say for example that you wanted to manage your desktop according to your work and you wanted to manage another desktop according to your gaming or entertainment environment 
So how could you manage that? And how could you, could you name that desktop according to your purpose, according to your work, according to your requirement? You can right click on any of the desktop and select the rename and you can name any desktop what you want to like. And then in this way, you will have the naming like that. And if you switch between the desktop view, so it's going to be like Windows, Control Windows, cursor right. It's the desktop one. And if we go back, so it's a testing. So in this way, you can name your desktop view like that. And that's another helping and unique feature that was introduced in Windows 11. And another interesting part is what that you can personalize each desktop separately. So you can change the wallpaper. You can even change the background and themes according to what you like and what this specific desktop represents. So if I if I'm using my testing desktop view and here I can change the background whatever the way I like and whatever the background I want and whatever it suits with my workload and with my purpose of creating this another view but your desktop one will keep the same and you can change the themes you can change the whole environment according to your requirement and if you wanted to close this desktop or wanted to end this thing so you can simply click cross here and in an instant it will be wiped out and there is another way to close your newly created desktop view and you, you can use the shortcut key for that purpose as well and that is the control windows f4 and you can see that it is just deleted the new desktop view and if you wanted to create another view so you can use the shortcut key control windows d and in a matter of seconds you will start seeing the newly created desktop so in the same way we will keep creating these videos to give you some cool features and the steps that how you can achieve and how you can maintain these features in your own windows 11 machine